Good afternoon. Today is July 1st, 2019, and um, right now I'm deadheading these pansies because they are still putting out good blooms and looking all pretty and cute. <laughs> um, most of the time, pansies would have um, already. They would have already declined by now. You know, with the heat and whatever. But I think that what I've discovered is that if you keep your pansies deadheaded, which I have not really been that faithful doing that this year. There's a lot of dead flowers on here. But if you keep them deadheaded and very well watered, don't let them dry out too much, too much, too um, often. <coughs> you have pansies continuing on for a long time into the summer. You might even go into winter, I mean, and into uh, fall and winter and into the next spring and onward. So, um, you just never know. I want to say there's one down that way. I don't remember which one, but there was one or two um, that I kept from last year. Anyway, um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. These are already done. Um, you know, and they look so much better after you deadhead them. They look like, like, yeah, that's how they're supposed to look. This, this over here looks a little bit sad because you got the dead leaves and... See, you know, you just kind of pull out the dead leaves and, uh, you know, pick off the uh, dead flowers. Don't let them go to seed. You know, sometimes you see, um, you know, this little thing here, a pod starts. You really shouldn't let that happen. And if it does, it's, it's not a big deal. You say it certainly can save the seeds. Um... Alright, so managed to get most of these uh, flowers picked off and dead leaves cleaned away for the most part. So yeah, it looks a lot better now. Um, I still have some um, callas in here. Still making some pretty flowers. This one's nice. Um, let's see. Which way should I go? <clears throat> um, well, let's go this way, even though it's sunnier. My husband brought me home this Veronica. Oh, it's two plants. Speedwell. Um, Veronica Veronique. So, I don't know, I might plant that in the front. Some petunias. These fingers have been around for a while. <clears throat> I've been moving some plants around because, um, well, this one here is kale that the groundhogs haven't eaten up, so I figured I'd put it on this wall and see how it fares. Hopefully, they won't get up there. And this is, um, some mandevillas, which I think there's like four or five plants in this pot. So I want to break it up and repot them because that's not going to make it very nicely and to the end of the summer it'll start to suffer. So I just want to either put it in a bigger pot or break up, break up the plants and put them in individual pots. In the meantime, I had uh, pulled out the, all the baconic greens out of this these big pots, except for this one. They went to seed, they made a bunch of seed, but um, you know, as long as the flowers are still blooming, I, I like to leave it because uh, many officials enjoy it. Keep some close. This here is a uh, wing bean, <coughs> which actually I didn't realize was going to make, it's going to start to vine. It's this one here is vining. Yeah, look at this one. I didn't realize it was going to do that. I thought it was just going to be a bush, a bush plant. Uh, 
um, this is yellow, yellow peppers, sweet peppers, plus lotions, very sweet. Anyway, very sunny over this way. Um, like I said, I, I re rearranged this stuff over here on this wall. I'm still working on it actually. <coughs> yeah, let's show you this here. So, um, this is uh, last year's Mandevilla, which I put back in a pot, and then I have some way petunias. So, this thing is getting really big, really bushy. <coughs> some um, tomato plants over here, two, two gallon, two five gallon pots down there. This is a uh, lavender garden for the seed. Look at this crazy coleus. Look at the size of these leaves. Can you see? It's shade. Gigantic. Anyway, I just looked at it like yesterday and I thought, oh my god, that's exactly what I was looking for. Maybe I'll get a better, a better, um, uh, better footage. And the sun's not so bright. Anyway, I made this box <coughs> in front of the house. And my husband just brought me home these two spirea plants. They were just, you know... The, the flowers are going are pretty much spent for the year, so anyway, I put them in here, let the little flowers last, just the flowers keep flowering, and anyway, so these are actually four um, hanging baskets with petunias, and another geranium hanging basket in the middle there, and there's some coleus. Anyway, so I built this box with some scrap wood from next door. They're doing a home improvement project. So I asked them for the wood, and they said, sure, why not? And then there's this over here. This, um, this is butterfly bush. I planted it with uh, this... Verbena <coughs> and uh, Bidens and Petunias. These Petunias are actually reseeded from last year. So anyway, um, oh yeah, and I have something really special to show you. Now this is a uh, this might be a special interest to a um, uh, new subscriber that I've been. Uh, well, I've been watching her channel probably more than she watches mine. Anyway, her channel is called Clean Leaves. My, my Clean Leaves. And her name is Nicole. And uh, she she does mostly houseplants. <coughs> so let's say tropicals. Tropical plants. Because she keeps them outdoors and she also has them in the house. She's got a lot of houseplants. But she really enjoys succulents. So anyway... My husband uh, brought me home these two pots full of succulents. The plants, the pots are broken. That's why. That's why I came home with them. So um, this place looks like it's supposed to be this way. Um, but this soil is garbage. I don't know what it is. It kind of looks to me like um, like lawn clippings almost. I don't know what it is. It's not, I don't know, it could be peat, I don't know. It doesn't look like peat. <coughs> anyway, excuse me. I don't know what this is. I want to think, I want to say it's a sedum. It's probably a sedum of some kind. And these are Echeverias, which, um, you know, it's like, com comprises most of the uh, arrangements. But then you have, um, Sansevarias in the middle here. These are tropical. So this, this pot here would not really survive outdoors. 
The Echeverias are winter hardy here in New Jersey, <coughs> but not the Santa Maria, and not these um, string of pearls. This thing is just kind of tucked in here. Anyway, and I think this is a pepperonia, but I can't say for sure. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, and then there's this uh, spider plant. And this is another type of sedum. And another bit of a uh, string of pearls. So, um, one of my next projects, I guess, is going to be pulling out these plants. Because actually, this is not a very good idea anyway. They're in these tall pots. <clears throat> Succulents really want to have, you want to plant them in like a low pot. Low and wide, I guess, because, you know, the, the, the roots are very shallow, so you don't need that much of a depth. So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on that. I'm going to repot those. I'm going to try and get myself maybe a type of window box or something like that, like oblong or rectangular, and plant them in there and, I don't know, maybe put them, put them on the wall somewhere. I don't know. I think I might put them on the wall down that way. So, anyway, as you can see, I have like a lot of plants here, and uh, I'm still trying to provide homes for these. These are um, some kale plants that have been chewed up by groundhogs. I finally decided to put them on this wall here until I can get them properly homed. Anyway. But yeah, I think that's it for now. I think this video is probably going to be long enough. Um, I have some other things I want to show you across the street at the other community garden. I think I've actually been doing a lot of stuff over there and I haven't been showing you guys. So, um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta update you on that stuff. But anyway, in the meantime, thanks for watching.